He is known for being an American writer of the first half of the 19th century, whose historical romances brought him fame and fortune. He lived in Cooperstown, New York, and contributed generously to the Episcopal Church. Recognized for his influential novels and other writings, his name is James Fenimore Cooper. In the realm of American literature, there is one name that stands tall, James Fenimore Cooper. Born in the early 19th century, Cooper's tales of adventure and romance captivated readers and brought him both fame and fortune. Raised in Cooperstown, New York, a town founded by his father, Cooper's connection to the land would shape his writing in profound ways. Cooper's journey into the literary world began during his time at Yale University, where he honed his storytelling skills as a member of the Linonian Society. But it was his experiences in the U.S. Navy that truly left a mark on his work. Serving as a midshipman, Cooper learned the intricacies of managing sailing vessels, knowledge that would find its way into his novels and writings. It was in 1821 that Cooper burst onto the literary scene with his novel, The Spy. Set during the American Revolutionary War, the tale of espionage catapulted him to literary acclaim. But it was his series of historical novels known as the Leatherstocking Tales that would solidify his place in American literary history. These five novels, written between 1823 and 1841, introduced readers to the iconic American frontier scout, Natty Bumpo, and brought to life the rich history of the American frontier. Among Cooper's many works, The Last of the Mohicans stands as his masterpiece. A romantic novel set against the backdrop of the French and Indian War, it captured the imaginations of readers with its gripping storytelling and vivid descriptions. Throughout his career, Cooper published a wide range of fiction and non-fiction works, aiming to counter European prejudices and nurture a unique American art and culture. James Fenimore Cooper's contributions to American literature are immeasurable. His historical romances and tales of adventure not only entertained readers but also shaped the perception of American identity. His legacy serves as a reminder of the power of storytelling to capture the essence of a nation and its people. In the late 1830s, James Fenimore Cooper embarked on a monumental project that would leave a lasting impact on the historical narrative of the United States. Inspired by his close association with the U.S. Navy and his familiarity with naval life at sea, Cooper set out to write a comprehensive account of the U.S. Navy during that time. This historical work, which he had contemplated since 1824, would stand the test of time and become an authoritative piece on the subject. Cooper's research and writing process was fueled by his extensive network of connections within the U.S. Navy. His close association with various officers provided him with the background knowledge and first-hand experiences necessary to craft a detailed and accurate account. The result was a historical narrative that was well received by the public, earning him recognition as a respected authority on the subject. One particular highlight of Cooper's literary achievements was his publication of Proceedings of the Naval Court Martial in the case of Alexander Slidell Mackenzie in 1844. This work reviewed the infamous court martial of Alexander Slidell Mackenzie, who had executed three crew members of the brig USS Summers for mutiny. Cooper, having previously disputed Mackenzie's version of the Battle of Lake Erie, still felt sympathetic towards him due to the need for strict discipline at sea. In addition to his historical accounts, Cooper also delved into the realm of maritime biographies. In 1843, he published Ned Myers, or A Life Before the Mast, which chronicled the experiences of a common seaman named Ned Myers. This maritime biography aimed to captivate readers with the intriguing life of a sailor and proved to be of great interest to naval historians. Cooper's literary contributions continued even after his death in 1851. Posthumously published works, such as Bold Ironsides, in 1853 and History of the Navy of the United States of America, in an expanded edition in 1856, further solidified his status as a prominent figure in naval history. Although some contemporaries criticized the accuracy of his accounts, particularly in relation to the Battle of Lake Erie, modern naval historians recognize Cooper's work as a valuable and comprehensive resource. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.